Sunday, August 16, and we're going to start a little bit early, a little bit of a pregame show, a little bit of a pregame show, Let's see if I can find this one on my iPad, my trusty iPad, <clears throat> make sure everything is copacetic, Sunday, August and it is, and we've got no, no chipmunk voice, oh, I forgot to turn on my background lights, let me do that, hey Google, turn on living room lights, Okay. All right. So there we go. It's a live broadcast, semi-emergency broadcast. By the way, there is a little bit of moray on this shirt, but I'm wearing it because I am talking about linen and uh, linen shirts. And also, I want to ask if anybody has linen, actual linen sheets on their bed. A buddy of mine got some at Target, and he's the one that always buys kind of the low-end stuff, if you will, <laughs> but he did buy 100% linen sheets at Target, <clears throat> and he says he loves them, and I love the linen in this shirt. Maybe that is a way to go. They're supposedly more durable and long-lasting than cotton sheets. I think he paid about 150 for a set of on a full-size bed. King size is like more like 180 something like that. For the ones that he got and they can go up you know well over two hundred dollars depending on where you get them so it'd be interesting to know if anybody has any of those <clears throat> here i am wearing this particular shirt in a photograph with the gold stunner on wrist and there is a close-up it is considered to be their heirloom collection and it's a kenneth gordon it's a size large, made in the United States of America, and it says New Orleans. Made in New Orleans. What do you think about that? <clears throat> and that in that picture, I'm wearing Bill's khakis and some Edward Green shoes. Some Edward Green shoes. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what do you think? You think the 002 Stunner goes all right with this uh, this linen shirt, Kenneth Gordon shirt? There's the 002 close up. And of course, the 231 on the bench. 231, that's a SBGA 231 titanium diver for anyone new to the show. Cleaned it off with a little bit of soap and water and just wiped it off with a microfiber cloth. And she's on the bench. <clears throat> on the bench right now. And I rinsed it under fairly hard. A warm water right these people in the forum say oh you can't do that you, you can't wash it under a under a faucet that's too much pressure that it'll blow the seals out <laughs> it's gonna blow the seals out on a freaking divers watch that's designed to go down to 200 meters yeah I don't think that's gonna happen <clears throat> don't think it's gonna happen but what do you think folks what do you think Maybe it's the same uh, people. Maybe it's the same people that uh, that are concerned about getting a scratch on their gold stunner. I had all these people on that that posting that I put in in that section on Tim's. Let me see if I still have that up. Um, let me see if it's still here. Anyway, that posting I made of the 002 in Tim's group and all these people. Oh. I, I can't wear gold. It's too soft. I, I can't wear gold. It's too soft. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I've seen a lot of old steel Rolexes <clears throat> that are beat. I mean beat to death. And they look like a kind of a beat up old gold watch. Old steel watch. I mean, that's what they look like. They look like a kind of a, you know, with a petite, a patina all over it. And they look like a mess, right? They still they still look okay, but they look like a beat up, scratched up steel watch. On the other hand, a gold watch that has been used for many years looks stunning. It it looks stunning after all those years. And let me see here. I think I had one. No, I didn't. I, I had one in here that I was going to show, but uh, let's see. If I can find it. Well, anyway, I, I had an old date just that uh, 
was sent to us the other day that I was going to show you that look great, right? Right? Old old watch, very old watch. You look at some day dates that are from like the 60s. They still look great. So I don't understand where these people are getting all this from. I don't understand where they're getting this that the 18 karat gold watches are made out of butter. Uh, don't understand where they get that moray on the shirt. I don't see any eels. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that the new A7S Mark III that they're coming out with, that it won't have as much of a moray problem. This is the A6500 APS-C size sensor, and it does not handle fine patterns well in fabric. Okay, let's see here. Um, does anyone else watch Dave Ramsey? I've been watching him for years, but now he has these new experts on the channel, and I feel it takes away from the show. They're younger and less knowledgeable. Well, yeah, the other problem is that Dave Ramsey missed the boat on uh, Bitcoin <laughs> in like 2013, 2014, right? He was he was naysaying Bitcoin, and I, I, I imagine some of his uh, followers are are not real happy with that advice that he gave them back in 2013. Because <clears throat> if they'd bought just a little bit of Bitcoin back in 2013, they'd probably be doing pretty good right about now. I agree with a lot of what Dave says, but he missed the boat on that puppy. He missed a boat on a lot of things. He missed a boat on Amazon. He missed a boat on Apple. He missed a boat on a lot of things. He's, he's, he's conservative, right? He's very conservative on his investments, generally invests in mutual funds and stuff like that. And real estate, of course, he's big in real estate. And, of course, he makes a lot of money on his show and all the, the services. He, he, took, he took something out of the playbook from Levi Strauss, right? Levi Strauss wasn't going to make money on the uh, mining, going out and mining for gold. He knew, he knew there were a lot of losers in that game, so he decided to just sell all the miners' jeans, right? So Dave Ramsey's sort of doing the same thing. He's selling everybody how to get out of debt. And they buy his books and buy his, his programs and so on and so forth. And so he's, uh, he's not going to be able to get them all out of debt, but he can sell them some books. That's for sure. Some of them will get out of debt. Some of them will do it. Let's see here. Um, at David Williams, as often as I can be. Let's see, Cheetown. What did he ask? Um, I, I missed that one. Okay. Uh, when did all these baby men start buying expensive, rugged tool watches? Uh, Triforce Rich, Craig, I think you should go diving with the 002 with the leather strap to prove a point, its durability. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I think it would hold up. I think it would be okay. It's supposedly water resistant or whatever to 30 meters, so I'm not going to go deeper than 30 meters. It would probably be okay, but I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon. Uh, let's see here. Uh... But if it became a one-watch solution, <clears throat> if somebody made a substantial offer on the 231 and, and I sold that puppy and the 002 became a one-watch solution, then if there were situations where I had to go in the water or something like that, I sure as heck wouldn't take it off. I would certainly risk it. I'd certainly do it. Yeah, I would. Because that's how I roll. I don't take my watch off because I'm going to do something. Uh, so there you go. Cheetown's in the house. Craig, um, you should see what a Royal Oak looks like after it's been worn and polished over the years. Makes Larry King look like a spring chicken. Uh-oh. Kyle's in the house. Per perhaps we could do a show about the perfect watch in which we all contribute our ideas of what that watch would look like. Absolutely we could do that. Uh, let's see. Dave, Dave used to rag on BTC so hard, you won't hear those words out of his mouth today. He has changed his tune slightly and says one day it could turn into something. Did he really? I've never heard him say anything positive about it, but of course I haven't been listening to him lately, but did he actually, is he actually turning around on it a little bit? That would be very interesting. He heard Warren Buffett 
put a lot of money in gold put a lot of money in gold so there you go and sold a lot of his banking stuff right isn't that what he did maybe our wags is hanging out maybe he can let us know the take on that triforce rich if uh let's see oh he retracted his message okay there put it back in so if a hot woman called you to come in the pool while proceeding to remove her bathing suit is it safe to say you'd be jumping in with the o2 heck yeah i'd be in with the o2 i don't take my watch off because i'm going to do something right i mean i like like, like uh, i wouldn't even that w thought wouldn't even cross my mind and and just because it's a leather strap you can dry it off and you can let it dry out and it will probably be fine it can probably get get some h2o on it do a little bit of leather treatment on it and let it dry out it would probably be fine i've worn high quality leather shoes out in the rain and stuff like that and you know i put the shoe trees in them and let, let them naturally dry out and then do some leather treatment on them or whatever they they survive they generally survive uh, let's see here um, uh, e e even though I can't be a big wheeling and dealing Rolex dealer I can still make a killing selling adult diapers to these Rolex <laughs> investors in case they scratch their watches and have an accident that's a good point yeah that's that's the way to do it so so no I guess nobody has any experience with linen sheets nobody can share me share any experience with those okay so I'll have to I'll have to be on my own on that but uh, yeah I could absolutely rock the 002 all the time now I'll be honest I would take it off when I'm sleeping I would do that, assuming I'm sleeping in a, in a secure environment, right? If I'm sleeping somewhere, like in a hotel room, where it could be a dicey situation, where somebody might be able to get into the hotel room or something, then I'd probably keep it on wrist. But if I'm in a secure location like I am here, I would take it off and set it on my night table and let the leather air out, right? I, I don't take off the 231. The 231 stays on wrist when I'm sleeping, but... On the, with the leather strap I would give it a chance to breathe overnight I would be that kind to it uh, let's see Greg sent a photo of a Seiko SD dr diver okay we'll look at it spring drive and Kyle says Leslie and I both got wrenched got wrenched out of the Dave Ramsey chat for suggesting the show was better when it featured just Dave they couldn't handle any criticism whatsoever. Oh, well. There you go. Sometimes that happens. Uh, by the way, Kyle, how is Leslie's watch doing today? How's the, how's the accuracy so far? Do tell. Do report. Uh, let's see. I have experience with flannel sheets, crappy quality ones, but uh, pill up like crazy and rub your off. Yeah, I wouldn't do the flannel sheets thing. Yeah, that would, that would be a no-go on that. Yeah, I would pass on the whole flannel sheet things. Mr. Q, I had some Burberry branded short sleeve shirts. Still have them decent quality. Are they linen? Do tell, Mr. Q. Are they linen? And are they the ones that were actually made in England or or not? Uh, let's see. Who's more merciless than Craig's wrench gang? Dave Ramsey's wrench gang. Okay. All right. All right. So let's check this email. Da, 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 da. And yeah, this is the big one. This is the big one that they came out with a while back, I believe. That's a that is a monster watch. If somebody somebody likes a monster, and I believe that watch is titanium. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is. But let's look at this monster. 600 meter watch. Now this one does not have the same extension mechanism that, uh, that mine has. It has a clasp more like the one on the 007 that I had.
Yeah, that is a monster watch. I believe that thing is titanium. Let's go down here and look. Yeah, titanium. So, yeah, if somebody wants a beast, if somebody wants a beast, that, that's a beast. It's a beast of a watch, for sure. And, and uh, yeah, it's got a GMT hand. That's what's really cool. Notice that? It's got a GMT function. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, I have no, no issues with that puppy. Somebody wants a beast. I think they're pretty thick on the wrist. Uh, I think they're substantially thicker than the 231 that I have. Uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> uh, what bed do you do? You sleep on the floor like a, a ge geisha? Did they sleep on the floor? No, I don't. I my, matter of fact, my bed's pretty high off the off the floor, and it's a sleigh bed. It's solid mahogany, king size. Uh, so yeah, very solid. I like a very solid bed so that if you're you know active on the bed, if you will, you don't hear a lot of creaking and and you know it doesn't like like sway and feel like it's going to like fall down or or move you know if you're really doing something right you don't want the bed to be moving all around if you get my drift my drift you don't want the bed drifting still uh still accurate to the to the second i just checked okay good what really we're going to want to know is when it is off a little bit, if it's off slow or fast. That's what we want to know. That's the key, the critical thing to figure out here. Uh, if she's got a fast or a slow one, because it's going to be one or the other. Eventually, it's going to either be ahead or behind. Yep, linen not made in England, but quality linen. Okay. Does it say where they're made? Where were they made, Mr. Q? Triforce Rich, Craig, if GS came out with the spring drive that was plus one second a year but was 50 millimeter, would you consider it? No, 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 no. I don't want a bigger watch. No, no, no. My, my 231 at 43 is at my limit. That's my, and, and this one at 38 and a half mils, this is kind of at my limit for a dress watch. I really wouldn't want any bigger than this. I love this size, but I definitely would not want it any bigger. I mean, if it was 39 mil, you know, like a half mil bigger, I mean, that would be okay, but I wouldn't want it to be like 40 mils or something. Yeah, uh, let's see, Cheetown, I reckon that MM600 would be a good alternative to an Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean GMT. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see, uh, at Kyle, 46 mils. Okay, so a bit larger than the tooth run. Yeah, and I think it's thicker. I think it's significantly thicker. Uh, Lance, can you check on the thickness of that? Uh, let's see. That's about 16 millimeters too, too big for Kyle, okay. And Sheetown says, you don't want Land Rover to make an air suspension for your bed frame. <laughs> Two years, it'll be sagging to the floor. You got that right. Uh, the, the lovely Brief Fit Dance is in the house, and she says, nice Kenneth Gordon shirt. Well, there you go. All right. We'll have to... G ne next time you come, Brie, we'll have to get a picture of you wearing it. I'll bet you it would look better on you than on me <clears throat> what do you guys think in the chat do you think this shirt would look better on Bree than it does on me Carlos is in the chat he says hello Craig and all <clears throat> uh, let's see here speaking of air suspension speaking of air suspension this uh, this Prevo that we looked at the other day. It's got air suspension. What do you guys think? What do you think? There's the rear compartment. The master suite. Washer dryer, of course. That's a lot of coach for the money. I, I think that I, I still have my eye on that coach. I like the flooring in it. I like the color scheme. 
pretty much like everything about it. I would probably, where this dinette set is here, I would probably put a a, a desk along the along the wall there, a standing desk height, and make that my whole workstation right along there. It's probably what I would do uh, in that situation. Or I could put the workstation in the place of one of these couches up up in the front. I'd uh, do one or the other. I'd have to decide. <clears throat> Probably replace the dinette because I really don't need that. You can eat at the, um, you could have a couple of stools and you could eat at the, the standing height desk. You could also eat there. Could be a dual purpose setup. So there you go. Um, the Prevo. Pretty, pretty stunning, I say. Pretty stunning way to travel. Pretty stunning way to travel. <clears throat> okay. Uh, air suspension. Brought that up. That's got air suspension. Uh, let's see. Trevor Search Craig, would you consider getting married again? Your dad wants to see his baby boy wedded so he can live in peace. He, he does. He's, he's obsessed. <laughs> he's obsessed. Uh, you never say never, right? You never say never, but it's certainly not in the plans. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and somebody says hi to Brief Fit Dance. That's a good move. I don't blame him there. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? It's 17 moment. Hi, hi, Brie and Carlos. And Brie says, ha ha, maybe. Oh, you're talking about the photo. Oh, yeah, the photo. Absolutely. Uh, da, 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 da. what else? Okay, we're caught up. We're caught up. We got 19 live viewers. A lot of people are out goofing off on a Sunday. I don't blame them. I had a nice long walk today. Nice long walk. And let's look at. Uh... Oh, this is the watch we were looking. I wonder if Brianna is still in there. I think she had commented on this before. This is the one we looked at before the Yacht Master. That's a 29 mil Yacht Master that we were considering for Brianna. And I think she said she liked it last time she saw it. Because that's a possibility for the lovely Brianna as well. A heavy duty, heavy duty ladies sport watch. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. What do you think of a DeLorean equipped with a flux capacitor? <laughs> that would be a way to get around. Uh, let's see. Craig, what's worse, spending the afternoon dealing with Facebook watch punters or staying the night in a motel with neighbors sleeping on IKEA bed frames? Yeah, see, that's why I travel by motor coach. I don't like staying in dicey hotels and motels and all that kind of good stuff. Even the decent ones, I mean, they're not always that great. I'll tell you, they're not always that great. And the problem is when you travel when you travel that way you can't carry as much gear with you, right? If you're if you're traveling by motor coach, you can bring I can bring pretty much all my gear with me. I can bring jibs, I can bring cranes, I can bring everything, you know, all my C stands, I can bring my lighting, I, I can pretty much have everything on board that I may need for a shoot. I can have it all with me. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, <laughs> it must be made by Video Bob. There you go. Uh, Video Bob's cool. Let Mr. Q, I'm glad you asked where those were made. Never looked until now. And now I know why I bought them. Okay, so where were they made? Do tell. Do tell. Do share. Um, and Brief Fit Dan, Dan says it's very cool, the Yacht Master. Okay, so she likes the Yacht Master. And somebody says, we'll suit you, Brie. There you go. She does accept gifts, uh, by the way. K 
K K K K Wiles sixty six, however however you pronounce that. Bree does accept gifts of uh, of yacht masters. If you'd like to get that one for her, she would appreciate that. A fellas in the house, Craig, please bring up the yellow gold yellow gold green dial GMT. I need an opinion. Send me a link. I'll pull it up. Send me a link. I will pull it up. And if Lance is around, maybe he'll find you a link for you. Let's see. Uh, my friend stayed in a St. Louis hotel once. He told me he found a discarded syringe in the bed. I'm not surprised. Triforce Rich. Craig, if you are Shaquille O'Neal, what size dress watch is acceptable? Um, he's probably going to have to buy some extra links. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For him, he might I might make an exception and for him a 40 mil day date might be the way to go as opposed to a 36. That might be what he needs to do. Uh let's see. <clears throat> Carlos is in the house. Talk about a 40 mil. He's got a 40 mil day date. Uh Craig about your recent watch purchases um at fella, tell Craig about your recent watch purchases and what is on your shopping list. Emailed you, Mr. Q. Okay, we'll look. Cheetown says uh, Rolex 116718LN. That's the one fella wants your opinion on. Okay, so let's see. Did Lance send a link? Let's see if Lance sent me a link. <clears throat> Lance, can you scare up a link for that so I can show it? and made in USA. Okay, that's good. That's okay. Some of the Burberry stuff that's made in USA, that's okay. It's a whole lot better than them farm it out, farming it out to China. Absolutely. 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 Back in the day, way back, almost all their stuff was made in England. A lot of the stuff I have from them is made in England. Uh, but, yeah, that was way back in the day. <clears throat> let's see um, let's try this uh, 116718 I'm seeing, I'm seeing if Swiss Watch Expo has one Yes, they do. Switch, Swiss Watch Expo has them in stock. So let's find... Oh, sold, sold, sold. Uh-oh. Not looking good. Uh-oh, they're all sold. They're all sold. So, but let's pull, pull this one up and look at it. <clears throat> it doesn't even say what the price was when they had it. That doesn't look good as far as inventory. They have none of them in stock. So it's an absolute stunner, though. I mean, there's no, there's no beating around the bush on that. And it's a six-digit unit. So it's got nice, solid clasp and everything. That would be a pretty cool move. I, of course, would rather it have a Jubilee bracelet, personally. Uh, and I think that that case is a little bit, little bit softer than the super case that's on the um, subs. I think the lugs are a little bit softer, but uh, yeah, it would definitely look better on a Jubilee. I would be tempted to get, <clears throat> even though I like the six-digit unit, I would be tempted to get one of the older ones on a Jubilee. I wonder if they ever made this one on a Jubilee. Did they make the six-digit unit on a Jubilee? Because that would be very, very interesting. But yes, I still like that one, even with the Oyster. That would be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, fella. Fantastic. Yes. Two thumbs up. Because it's thinner than the sub, than a gold sub. It's flatter on the wrist. That's why I wore... Uh, that's why I wore GMT Master 2s primarily. 
I, I, I moved away from the sub and moved to the GMTs because of that. Uh, let's see. Carlos is almost seven feet tall, so the 40 millimeter data it works well for him. Yes. Carlos is not a small guy. And uh, you don't want to get sideways to Carlos. It's not going to end well for you. Him and his security team would would be very difficult to deal with. Uh, and the lovely brief at dance says thank you. And uh, Triforce Rich is crying. He's literally crying. Lance says sent a link to a green GMT. Okay. And Triforce Craig, have you seen the full rose gold GS they came out with this year? GS take on the president. Uh, no, but send it to me. I'll take a look. I'm not a fan of rose gold, but I'll, I would take a look. Stunner alert. No precious metal six-digit GMTs have been made have been made on a jubilee yeah that's a shame that's a shame they did that that's a shame rolex has made some questionable decisions if you ask me of late i think they've made some questionable decisions i'm going to come right out and say it not that they care but let's see this one this one's on chrono 24 <clears throat> and this one's 32,000 32995 box and papers. That kind of money, it's probably mint. Would be my guess. It's probably mint. But, you know, here's the problem. And for that kind of money, you can absolutely get uh, a, a brand new 36 mil date eight, and it's going to have the ceramic sleeves in the center links, and so it's going to be arguably a, a more robust piece over time. It's not going to have that bracelet stretch issue. Theoretically, we don't know yet for sure because those sleeves—they've only been putting those sleeves in the bracelets for a couple of years now, right? So we really won't know until. 10 years later how well it solves the problem um, let's see here <clears throat> six digit team trimester okay uh, Craig would you wear the 002 when going to buy a Rolex uh, thinking stri strategically I guess is what he's saying here um, well yeah I, I wouldn't uh, change my watch just because I'm going to look at a uh, another watch to wear. I would dress the way I would normally dress. I mean, chances are, um, if we get a Rolex for Brie, chances are we'll probably get it from that same company that uh, Kyle dealt with. I think that's a really solid move he made. Why reinvent the wheel? I mean, he already made a fantastic move. Let's see what that... Uh, Let's see what the um, what the uh, what the yacht master would be at that same dealer. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, where is it? Here we go. I'm going to search Swiss watch. The Swiss watch expo folks and see if they have that unit. In stock. 20 matches found. Wow. Wow. But again, a lot of them are sold. See, sold. Sold. See, that's a problem. They just list a bunch of sold watches in here. That doesn't do us any good at all. I guess they're all sold because they, if there was one available, it would probably be at the top. That's a damn shame that they don't show us. But let's pick one of them. Here's one with a blue, yellow, gold. This is what we would want. And add to the wait list to be notified when it's back in stock. Okay, I got you. Uh, so that's... I wonder what their price would be. It's a shame that they don't say what the price would be. 
so yeah that's a nice piece so let's check uh, real quick let's check chrono 24 and see what their price is okay so here's one here's one for 44.92 and it looks like it's box and papers it looks like it's box and papers that is uh, very interesting. I like it. I think it's kind of cool. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's get uh, ta -ta -ta. emailed you a link okay Craig have you heard the rumor that Rolex uh, tch -tch. Craig have you heard the rumor that Rolex is planning on making the next Submariner 42 mil no I have not I've not heard that one I hope they fix the case that's the most important thing even if they go to 42 mil if they keep the super case that'll be a total fail Triforce Riches in the house emailed you the link okay we'll look at it is Yacht Master thinner than a Day Date? Yes, it is. Uh, a, a man's like a 40 mil Yacht Master, if you're asking about. I think they're 11.7 mils thick. They're very trim. That's one of the nice things about the Yacht Master, the 40 millimeter Yacht Master. It's a very trim piece on the wrist. It's about as trim as a Date Just, I think. Maybe somebody will confirm in the chat. Uh, tell us about your stunning Soko GS. Okay. Triforce Rich says uh, Cheetown, California probably would be a popular move for the majority of consumers. Forget about the watch enthusiasts. Triforce Rich, I dread that happening, especially when you can when you can get a 43 millimeter sea dweller. Uh, Carlos, it's been great so far. Very dynamic dial. Finishing is superb. This is from Triforce Rich. The bracelet is subpar though. Whoa, he doesn't like the bracelet. Just really needs to improve their bracelets to match the quality of their case. I love the bracelet on my 231. It is amazing. So there's that. Um, I liked the bracelet on my 005 too. It was a simple, you know, oyster bracelet, but I mean, it was the quality was there. It was fine. I don't know. Let's see. Tim says, Craig, would you consider swapping your 231 with the new GS? SBGE 255 similar specs but 255 is 40.5 mil yeah, but I don't think it's titanium no if it's not titanium I wouldn't even consider it I don't think it's titanium <clears throat> let's see uh, and I don't mind the 43 mil for me it, it looks fine on my wrist so for a sport watch I don't mind that size for me uh, it's you know very legible, right? So Cheetown Town one one six six two two steel and platinum bezel yacht master uh, forty is eleven point six millimeters. There you go. See, very trim, very very nice. Okay, all right. Let's catch up on the emails. Let's catch up on the emails here real quick. That's what we do on the channel. Whoa, we're way behind too. All right, we're going to start with the full rose gold GS. That's what we're going to start with here, if we can get this loaded in. I think this is a Japanese market uh, only watch. We've looked at this before. Yeah. And uh, and it's a nice piece, but I would certainly want yellow gold. Let's see what the size Oh, we can't tell the size because it's in Japanese. Yeah, we've looked at this piece before. And I wonder how thick it is also. See, I think it's a little bit too thick. See, if I need a dress watch, I need it to be around 12 mils thick at the most. At the most. At the most, 12 mils thick. Uh, preferably under 12. <clears throat> Ladies Rolex, here we go. Let's look at this. 
Well, this is interesting. 18 karat gold. Uh, very, very interesting. Interesting price. And it's in New York. It's in New York. I don't mind those stamped clasps on the gold watches. It makes it easy to adjust. Hmm. It looks like it's got hollow end links. That I don't like. I think I draw the line there. I don't think I want the hollow end link thing going on. Okay. Let's go to the next um let's go to the next email. <clears throat> oh, here's one that Swiss Watch Expo has in stock with the white dial. Kyle sent over. It's not a hateful piece, I have to tell you, it's not a hateful piece. Not a hate. I do like. I do prefer the blue dial. I think, but at least that tells us where the price range is going to be. That that it's going to be pretty reasonable if they get a blue dial one in. I like it. I think it's super cool. I like it. I wonder what Bree says. I doubt she's still hanging out. But if she is, let us know if you like that white dial. Do tell. So it would be, if I pay with a bank wire, it would be 5131 wired to them. <clears throat> and they're stand-up folks, so I wouldn't have a problem wiring them the money. Okay. Here's another one from Here's a property sent over by Kyle. Let's see. There you go. Is that what is that a place that Kyle is thinking about picking up? Is that the deal there? <clears throat> Okay. Absolutely, positively, lutely. All right. I think we're. Oh, here's the Soco. Okay, on wrist. Yeah, that 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 is a stunning piece. I love the gold GS. The green goes great with the gold. The dial is stunning. I'll bet you that puppy looks stunning in person. I'll bet you it does. So, yeah. That's a big two thumbs up on that puppy. A big two thumbs up on that puppy for sure. Uh, t -t 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 put it back on the screen. That deserves a double look. A double take. On the, the Soko. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we got a comment here. Cheap long long jeans. Buy and use it. You can set. You can set with mobile phone. Long jeans have some trick like that. Okay, there you go. Triforce Rich Mike. Uh, no problem, Mike. Unfortunately, it is an oversight of the brand. On the flip side, the leather strap is amazing. Personally, I prefer prefer a tang to deploy it. But that's just me. Oh, man, I love the deployments. I think once you get used to the deployment, you will like it. Uh, and it's safer, too. You're less likely to drop that watch. Uh, Kyle's in the house. Craig, that house is for you. Oh, for me. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. I'm, I'm heavy enough in real estate right now. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about selling some and... and uh, Putting it into the Bitcoin. By the way, I was looking at my uh, my GBTC, the Bitcoin Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. I put some money in that a while back in my Roth IRA, and I'm up like 30% on that. 
and I was thinking, you know, maybe I should sell that and, and take that profit. Because, you know, the neat thing about the Roth is if I sell it, there, there's no tax. There's no capital gain tax or anything, right? That's just a gain, and then I can go on to something else. But the problem is I don't know what to go on to. I, I, I don't know what's going to have more upside than if I just leave it in the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, you know? Uh, that's my my dilemma. Normally, with a thirty percent profit, I would take my profit and run. Right? I I, I sold Apple when I was up thirty percent, and of course it, it went up a lot more. I could have made even more, uh, but uh, I took that profit. Right? And normally, you know, I wouldn't be greedy, and I would just go ahead and take the thirty percent profit. And because it's been about a year or so or something, right? So thirty percent in a year is pretty good in my book. Uh, for for you know for stocks and so <clears throat> but that problem like i say is where do i where do i move it from there that's the problem i'm running into here uh let's see try are you using it as your daily watch for work we'll see what he says mike says at Trevor research that's interesting i thought the deployment on leather was an upgrade what do you find as a downside to deployment Carlos, I'm wearing it daily right now to test it out, but because I'm working from my house, it doesn't really matter what I wear. Now I have three watches. I'll have to figure out a rotation. <clears throat> okay. Um, a personal problem is that it doesn't sit well on my small wrist, and also it's thick, but one issue with the leather strap is it's way too long and I think Craig agrees on that point well you may need to get a custom strap made to the correct length by HD straps they'll do it they'll make it you know each side of the strap they'll make it whatever length you tell them uh, and and you definitely want to make sure that strap is going to be the right length for your for your uh, wrist and he'll probably he might even be able to match that green and everything like that if you want I mean he'll bespoke a strap for you and I think you will like it that's the downside to leather straps is if they're not the right size for your wrist then it's kind of clunky right the 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 strap that I had on my other 18 karat gold Grand Seiko was really not the correct strap for my size wrist and I could wear it and it worked but it wasn't centered properly and it just didn't do right and this one though is fantastic uh, this one is just is just right and the factory strap is fine for my size wrist on this watch it was fine so this this one's not that much different than the factory strap I think it's a little different on one of the lengths but it was pretty close to the factory because the factory was was pretty close to right um, <clears throat> Let's see. It seems a great watch for a serious consultant. Cheetown's in the house. Craig, uh, do you think the Rolex James Cameron is too thick at 17.7? Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. That's a box watch for sure. You don't want to wear that puppy. Triforce Rich is in the house at Carlos. Thanks. And yes, it is a perfect watch for that sort of activity. The quality speaks for itself, and it will not rub anyone the wrong way. Uh, Deport TGV 2020. It's snowflake dress is snowflake dress or sports see that's the problem that's the problem i had with the snowflake i loved it it was a nice watch but it was kind of like in the in between it was in no man's land it wasn't thin enough on my wrist really to be used for dress i think it's about 12.6 mils thick if i'm if i'm correct on that again i want it at 12 or right around 12 millimeters or even thinner for dress purposes right and it was a little bit big for dress purposes for me it was 41 mil and yet it wasn't really a full-blown sport watch it doesn't has doesn't have loom you know etc right and so it was kind of like one of those no man land watches for me and that's why i ended up selling it some people love it as an all-arounder and, and it works great as an all-arounder for them right but for me it was kind of like it wasn't a dress watch it wasn't a sport watch it was like in a no man's land and that's why it went down the road i loved it it was a nice watch but it went 
down the road. <clears throat> Tim says, just received a new leather strap with a deployment clasp, and it's very comfortable and keeps the strap in good condition. There you go. Mike says, I'm up over 200% on Apple. That's piggish level. Yeah, yeah. It's just amazing. You know, with the shutdown and everything, companies like Apple and Amazon, of course, there's been certain winners, right, that have won big on this whole thing. Of course, at the cost of a lot of others. Uh, but uh, yeah, at some point, at some point, you you might want to take that profit. Not financial advice on this channel, but yeah, at some point, it might make some sense. But who knows? You might be up 300% two weeks from now, right? Who knows? Uh, it's insane what's been happening. Let's see. Um, Omega Planet Ocean is 16.1 and is thick. Well, yeah, that would be too thick for me. HD Straps is making a custom strap for my fiance so she can wear the watch. If it ends up well, I might order a black one for myself to dress up the watch. Yeah, I think that would look stunning on a black. Are you talking black uh, crocodile? <clears throat> For TGV 2020, I considered both the Snowflake and my watch, both uh, Thule dress watches, but the Snowflake's problem is that it's simply too big for most for most for its designated purpose. Um, Chitown, at this point, most modern Rolexes are becoming oversized box watches. Datejust, Oyster Perpetual, Yachtmaster 40 are going to be the last vestiges soon. Good point. Let's see, that's what I felt when I tried the Snowflake. It looked like a dinner plate uh, fashion watch on my wrist. Um, a minimum 7.5 inch wrist for it to look like a dress watch. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of an in-betweener, right? Some people want an in-betweener, right? They want something that, uh, you know, it, it is bigger. And let me see if I can pull up the picture, a picture of me wearing it. Uh, before we do that, here is the lovely Leslie again from yesterday with her amazing Rolex. Rolex. Uh, let me see if I can find the uh, snowflake. Let's see here if I can find this. There's her there's her watch again. This is not working though. I'm not able to find the snowflake. Let me try it again here. Snowflake. Da 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 See if I can find one of me wearing it. Here's one with it uh, fully exposed and on wrist. And I mean, it looks okay. Like, like I say, for a sport watch in a sporty situation, like with the sleeves rolled up like I am in that picture, you know, working with the camera and stuff, it'd, it'd be perfect for that. But if I had uh, the sleeves rolled down and I had my shirt cuff buttoned, it would not. It would not work. And so, yeah, any kind of a sporty situation, I think the watch is fine. I think it's stellar. And so if you're in a situation where you generally dress sporty, either with the sleeves rolled up or wearing a polo shirt or whatever, then I think it's fantastic for a, a wrist my size. My size is 7.25 inches to seven and a half, depending on the time of the year. I think that looks, I think it looks pretty good in that picture. You see, but uh, but not for dress, not 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 for dress. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yes, Craig, black black croc strap would be what I'd get. Very similar to yours. Um, Okay, Chitown, California. Okay, 
All right, Deport TGV has a very good question, Craig. Why doesn't GS use s screws in the links of the titanium bracelets? The um, <clears throat> the pens and collars is the best solution for for sizing a bracelet because <clears throat> the pen can can rotate, can float. Okay, titanium is very tough stuff. And if you had a screw through there, and it was constantly rubbing against the center link when it pivots, right? That screw's fixed. Let's say the screw screws in, and it's fixed in place, right? Every time that that bracelet pivots on that screw, there's potential wear. If the screw is made of a harder material than the center link, then the center link will wear, right? And typically that's what happens. The screw is typically a harder material than the center link. That's why Rolex watches get stretched, right? And so th what they do is they do that pen and collar where that, that pen goes through the center link and then it's pressed into the collar, which is on the outer link, right? But everything can float. The whole pen and the collar, everything can rotate in there. It can freewheel, right? So you get less wear and tear and so it is the best solution for a titanium bracelet. It is really the best solution for any bracelet. The only reason they went to screws with the steel watches is because everybody bitched about the pens and collars because everybody doesn't have a clue what they're talking about, including Tim Masso. He's wrong on that subject. He acts like if it has pens and collars, that's like a, 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 a lesser solution, right, that, that the better watches have a screw. No, the screw is not a better solution because that's how you get that wear in that center link and that's how you get stretch and the uh, pen and collars is a much better solution also it's much less likely it cannot back out like a screw can back out you've heard stories of people actually their watch is falling off their wrist because the screw backed out and they didn't notice it the on the pen and collar once that once that pen is pushed into that it's literally pressed into that collar it ain't coming out until you press it back out with the correct tool, right? It ain't coming out accidentally. The downside is it's a little bit trickier to size your bracelet. It's not that much trickier. I've done it myself on the snowflake, right? If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, but uh, it, it is the better solution than screws. And, of course, a lot of Patek Philippe bracelets have uh, pen and collar. Uh, and it is the way that they should all be done, really. Uh, it's just that, that idiots in the watch community have bitched about the, uh, the pens and collars. Now, don't, don't mistake the pen and collar with a pressure pen. That's a different horse of a different color. That's garbage. That's on all the cheap watches. They have a pen that they press in, and then it presses into the outer link, and it's got like a little bit of, of, of kind of like some spring to the pen, a little where it flexes a little bit, and that's like a pressure pen, and you, you push that in to the outer uh, link, those are garbage. Those fail and give trouble. And because again, they're fixed. Once you press them in, they're fixed. They don't rotate, right? And those are a really low rent way to do it, right? But the pen and collar system that Grand Seiko uses on, on, for example, the 231, that's a fantastic system and it's a better way to go. That watch, that bracelet will probably never get any stretch you know, in a lifetime, so you use a couple of lifetimes of use, they'll probably have no stretch. Whereas if it had screws, it probably would have. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, our wag says selling any stock, any Apple stock since the IPO has been a big mistake. At some point in time, it will be time to sell. For now, I'm holding with an iron grip of a four, a four. A four for one stock split is coming up shortly. There you go. Our Wags is holding his Apple stock. Treffers Rich, now that's a much better size. Problem is, I don't like the green second hand. Oh, I think the green second hand is stunning. A Deport TGV, anything under 13 millimeter it, thick is fine for me. I got used to clunky watches after owning Breitling for a while. There you go. Well, again, it depends on how you're dressed. If you dress mainly sporty, I, I mine that watch is 14.1 mils, and it looks fine on my wrist. 
And so it's all about the proportions and the shape and the, how it looks on your wrist and all that. Uh, let's see. On a side note, the feds said on Thursday they were testing a hypothetical digital currency, trying to play catch. Everything's – all the <laughs> – this is so ridiculous. The fiat currency, the U.S. dollar, is already digital. Duh. I mean, most money's moved around digitally, Right. It's still going to be centralized. No matter what they do, it's going to be centralized. They're going to control it. They're going to control how much new currency is issued. The, it's not about the tech. As far as Bitcoin is concerned, the important thing is not the technology. Anybody can do the technology. It's no big deal. Of course, they can't build a network like Bitcoin has, but, but they can roll out similar technology. They would want it to be centralized, though. There would be no reason for them to have it be de decentralized. But in any event, uh, it's not the technology. It's the monetary policy. The monetary policy of Bitcoin is it's capped, hard capped, at 21 million units when all is said and done. There is no cap on the U.S. dollar, and they're not going to add a cap. Right. They, they want the flexibility to be able to print as much as they want. That's the whole point. So it's it's not it has nothing to do with the technology. It's the monetary policy is the advantage that Bitcoin has. And people are starting to wake up to that. So and they ain't going to come out with something that is limited like Bitcoin. Trust me, that ain't their game plan. They want unlimited. They want to be able to print whatever they want, <clears throat> whenever they want. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, Trevor Switch, G-Town. And then we're going to wrap this puppy up. We're getting right up on it here. Um, California, also the Soco case slopes the bezel very well, so the dial is not an obnoxiously big, which helps make the watch wear even better. Some of the newer GS have, have huge dials. Okay. Uh, Chi Town, uh, Craig, uh, do you plan on buying more Apple stock before they announce the iPhone 12? No, I'm not planning on buying any stock anytime soon because I still think there could be a big pullback at some point, but maybe I'm wrong. That's why I say I was thinking about selling my GBTC, my Bit, uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, because I'm up like 30% in that. But if I do sell that, I'll probably leave the money in cash and wait for a pullback to buy something. But I may not sell it. I may I may just keep it because I think there might be some more some more upper room there in the grayscale Bitcoin trust. We will see. Not not financial advice on this channel. Now, if the GS could just do the same thing for the snowflake, okay. Uh, Trefers Rich, uh, uh, yeah, no cure for that. It's a particular look. It's for me. It's not others. That said, the green is not going to stand out too much to other people. Okay. Uh, I'd like them to go a step fo forward with the Snowflake 38 millimeter with 11.5 mil thickness steel with st uh, steel with micro adjust class. Bring out all the bells and whistles for. It. Hey, why not keep it titanium though? The fact that that's so comfortable on wrist is a big plus for me. It was it was a, it was a joy to wear that Snowflake. It was a joy to wear that puppy. I mean, it was gorgeous on wrist and just so freaking comfortable. I love that fuck. Excuse my French. I love that titanium. I would want that. They should make it both ways. So it's people that want steel can have steel and people that want titanium can have titanium. That's what they should do because it's their top selling watch. They can afford to roll it out in both. In both uh, iterations. Let's see. David's in the house. Uh, S Snowflake model crazy. I, I own the. SARB035 and never wear it. SARB035. O35. Let's pull it up here. Yeah, I can see why you don't wear it. I mean, you've got a, <laughs> a far superior watch. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't be wearing that either. Life's too short. Life's too, too, life's too short to wear a marginal watch. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay. She can wear it as every as we speak. Yeah, get rid of those sarbs. You don't you guys don't need that stuff. That's funny how many of us uh have it. Okay. Uh one thing that surprised me, subtle details GS does. There's a Rashu polis and beveled the lug side that touches the bracelet when you take the bracelet off. The gap is all published polished, okay. Uh Wendy over it's okay, which makes the watch better finish. When the leather strap is on. Few companies care about these details. Triforce Rich, good points. Um, all right, we're going to wrap this puppy up. Uh, why does everyone have to say this is not financial advice? Would someone really sue or something? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know why we do it, but we do it just, just to be on the safe side, I guess. Uh uh, let's see. Could you send wrist shot of it anytime for Craig? I'm interested in how it looks on wrist. Sure, it'll be back home Tuesday. Okay. Uh, do you know who Lang Stanley is and how he died? I'm afraid Chip Wong might end up the same way. Haven't heard from him on uh, weeks. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. All right, we're going to show the lovely Bree. She was in the chat earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and show her website. I do that. It's a tra tradition here to show the lovely Brianna's briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com. And she town says, I don't have the cash for an oyster virtual yet, Craig, so I'm not getting rid of my SARB anytime soon. There you go. Okay, there you go. Keep wearing it. Absolutely. I don't blame you. Uh... Okay, so do go to briefitdance.com and show some love, help support her content creation, and make sure that you're subscribed here, and you click the little bell so you get uh, notification to Port TGV 2020. I had to look him up. I hope that doesn't happen to poor Chip Craig. Step in and help him before he kills himself with an overdose. I hope he's not doing drugs. Is it? My gosh, it's just, there's so many things to live for and to, to you know, it's, it's such a great time to be alive. Why would somebody harm themselves with doing things like that? I, think I just don't get it. Just don't get it. That's why somebody like Brianna is such a breath of fresh air. She's, she doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do drugs, doesn't have any interest in any of those things. And, uh, and she's just being positive and doing the right thing. So, there's room for that, folks. There's room for that. Thanks for watching, everybody.